Again, we are working on the making badge, making games badge, and we are going to be going over the requirements today of try a scavenger hunt, make up a mystery game, create a party game, change the rules, invent a whole new sport, and some requirements you, we will do today, and then the others we will you'll re be required to do at home. So again, you're gonna need paper, pencil, chalk, and some index cards. Are we all ready to go? Give me a thumbs up. Awesome, ladies, awesome. All right, so uh, before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and go over our Girl Scout Law and Promise. So we're gonna do the Girl Scout Promise first. So let's all see our fingers up, right? On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. All right, we're gonna move on to the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Awesome job, ladies. Everyone ready to, and excited to learn how, what we're gonna be getting started today? Awesome. All right, so the purpose of this badge is once you complete it, you will know how to create games and share them with others. You can do this by share, playing along with your friends. You can play along with your siblings. You can even do it as a family fun night. So this is something that you want to um, be able to uh, go through and change some of the traditional games into something different and create it as your own. All right, so step one is try a scavenger hunt. How many of you have, how many of you, raise your hand, have played a scavenger hunt before? Awesome. So sometimes they could be fun. And so what you wanna do is you want to make sure that when you're doing a scavenger hunt, sorry, my screen was a little messing up right there. So step one is you're going to make a scavenger hunt with it to find at least 10 items. It could be something in your neighborhood. It could be something at home or in the community. For example, if you in your hunt, if you decide to do um, Yes, so everyone is muted. Um, if you cannot hear the audio. You might want to check your settings. So give me just a moment. All right. So if you went to a library, you can do many different things um, and create a scavenger hunt. One you can do if you want to find a um, certain author, you can look for the different books um, you can, or a magazine, or even look for the librarian's signature. So there's different ways that you can create a scavenger hunt. Um, what you want to do is you're going to create your own scavenger hunt. You want to maybe have a variation of different ways to create a scavenger hunt with, you could have easy ones because depending on the age levels that you're working with, you can have harder ones. You can do ones that, have, that include different sizes, different colors. You also make the rules. So you can have them be um, in specific orders. You can give them a time limit. You can also play in teams. All right, so you ready for your first challenge? Everyone ready for their first scavenger hunt? All right, so I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes 
And what you're going to do is you are going to look around your house in your living room, dining room, wherever you're at. And I want you to go find 10 items that are green. Ready? Go. Go find them and bring them back. 10 items that are green. Give you another minute or two. Let's find those green items. Oh, I'm seeing some really neat idea, neat things being brought to the table. All right, one more minute, one more minute. I love seeing all of this participation with you guys going and getting those items. Awesome job, ladies. I see some of you are finishing up. <laughs> I see some creativity there and items that you are bringing to the table. All right, let's go ahead and reconvene and come back to the table. Who wants to share first some of their items that they have brought to the table? All right, Sophia, I'm unmuting you. All right, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, okay. He, he likes that corner. He, he loves it. He, he'll never stop going there. And this weird <laughs> Okay, thing. what else did you bring? This, this weird pencil. Another pencil. Another pencil. Wait a second. This is my least favorite pencil. This. I don't like that either. And I was going to bring broccoli, but then I realized, no, it's disgusting. This. <laughs> wow, that, he can fly. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Sophia. This weird thing and this thing I painted. Okay, now I got to put all this, this. Back. All right, thank you. All right, Haynes, let's go ahead and see what you shared, share with us. I'm unmuted. You're unmuted, sweetheart. I have, Dad, one second. All right, well, I'm gonna, um, I'm going to move to someone else and then I'll come back to you, Haynes, I promise. All right, um, let's see, Ella. Go ahead. I got two, I'll come back to you, Haynes. You got two green eggs. They're fake. Green eggs, okay. Green eggs. I got an apple. Whatever this is. Something you use in the <laughs> I got my American Girl doll plant, my American Girl doll book, um, a pin, a pencil, um, a Lego tree, and a Lego bush. Awesome, good job, good hunt. All right, Haynes, I'm coming back to you. Um, I have like one of these squishy things that can stick to the wall. I have a piece to a marble set, a foam block, um, a puzzle piece, one of my bracelets, a Lego, a crayon, a toy tree, a little, I don't know what this is. And then the box that I put everything in. Awesome. Good job. 
All right, Zoe, go ahead. I've unmuted you. Go ahead and tell us what you have brought to the table. I have four green limes, a green jump rope, a old applesauce container, a remote to the lights in the kitchen, and a plant in a container. Awesome. All right, good job. All right, and let me see. Addison. I got a green Easter egg. I got a building pole. I got this fraction magnet. I got dishwasher soap. <laughs> got this container. I have a chalk marker, this Lego thing, another Lego bush, and chalk container, and then a fake flower. Awesome, good job. All right. Hey, Kylie. Kylie. Um, I got um, this green nest, a green crayon, um, this book, um, and you two dolling. Good job, good job. And I think we have time for maybe one more. Luanda. Luanda. I have this, uh, I don't know what it's called, a pillow, and this uh, kind of green piece of paper, and then uh, another pillow, and then a bow, and then a marker, and then this thing. and this thing, then a unicorn, and then a block, and then the basket, the green basket, I put everything in. Awesome. Great job, awesome. ladies. That was Great. awesome that all of the um, scavenger hunting that you went and did, um, they are, um, they were awesome. I love seeing them. Um, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next step. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to introduce our guest speaker. Um, her name is Rachel Hodges, and she is our assistant camp director for Sandy Ridge. Um, I'm trying to unmute her. Um, welcome, Hi, can Rachel. You hear me? Can't hear you. You can't hear me? Now we can hear you. All right. So we are on i'm going to turn this over now to rachel so that she can go ahead and continue hearing um or f letting you guys go through the steps um like i said she was on a previous meeting so she um joined us a little bit late um we are actually on step two rachel so go ahead and take it away hey guys uh welcome for having me today sorry i'm a little late but I'm gonna jump on step two with you. So step two of this brownie badge is to make up a mystery game. Who likes a good mystery game? Raise your hand. Some people said no, but this is a fun one. You guys get to create it on your own. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna start on one and then I'm gonna have you finish. So this step is all about turning a mystery into a fun adventure, okay? So I want you to take out your detective skills. And what we're gonna do is when you determine, there's a lot of people who love Mystery Games Perfect. Um, what we're gonna do is you're gonna make up your own rules to this game. So how are you gonna start the game? How are you gonna finish the game? Are there gonna be certain questions that people have to answer? Are you gonna give certain kind of clues? Are you gonna have a prize at the end for the person who um, finishes the whole game? So these are all these are all things that you have to think about when you make your own game, or in this case, a mystery game. So we're gonna play one together here. 
And then I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to chime in with your ideas, okay? So if I were to send you a clue, can we read this? That says, where do you go that your car is parked? Where would you go? You can type it in the comment box here. I apologize, I don't know how to mute and unmute. So Danielle, if you're still there. But for now, um, if I showed you, go ahead and just comment in the comment box. If I showed you this clue that says, go to where your car is parked, where would you go? Your garage, your parking lot, your driveway, your front yard. Perfect. So let's go on an imaginary clue hunt. And if we're all going on this clue hunt together, and this is our first clue, we might go to our parking lot or our garage, right? And when we get there, we might find another clue that says, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Where would we go then to find our next clue? If we've gone to the parking lot, we went to where our car was parked, we picked up another clue and it says, I'm tired, I'm going to bed. Where would we go? We would go to our bedroom, our bed. You're, someone has a bunny in their room, wow. Awesome. Bedroom, you guys are smart. So we all go to our bedroom and on our bed, we see another clue. And this clue says, go to where you sit to have family meals. So we found our second clue in our bedroom. We picked up the clue that's sitting on our bed. And this one says, go to where you sit to have family meals. Where are we going to go? We're going to go to our dining room, our dining table, our kitchen table. Great job, guys. Perfect. So we all go to our... Uh, let's see. So we're all going to our dining room. And once we get to our dining room, we find another clue. And this clue says, this is where I enter my house. How do you get in your house? So we've all gotten to the dining table or the dining room. We find another clue. And this clue says, this is where I enter my house. How do you get in your house? By the door, the front door. Good job. Fantastic. So I have a couple more clues here. We get to the front door of our house. There's another clue at the front door. This one says, head to the place where you can make a big splash. Head to the place where you can make a big splash. Where in our house would you see us making a big splash, maybe a big mess? At the pool, we got a lot of people who have a pool. If you don't have a pool, where might you go? The bathtub. So I guess this clue could lead you to a couple different places. If you have a pool, this clue could lead you to the pool. If you have a bathtub, this could lead you to the bathtub. I guess you can make a big splash in the shower too. So let's all imagine that we live in this big mansion with a nice pool in the backyard. It's been chilly these past couple of days, but when the weather's nice, we all like a good dip in the pool, don't we? <clears throat> so we get to the pool. We find our last clue. This one says, plug your nose. Your next clue is hiding in the place you store your dirty clothes. Where are we going to go to find our dirty clothes? <clears throat> so the last clue led us to this big imaginary pool that we have, and we found this last clue clue. This one says, plug your nose. Your next clue is hiding in the place you store your dirty clothes. Where are we going to go to find our last prize? The hamper, the laundry room, the laundry basket, the basement. Great job.
laundry room, laundry basket, your hamper. Fantastic. So that is what I imagine. Good job, guys. That's what I imagine when I, that's kind of a mystery game that I put together. So I invite you to, you can use some of these clues that we went over today, or you can make your own clues and bring your family on a mystery game hunt. Okay. So even if you, you're not big on mysteries, these weren't too hard, were they? And these are fun, easy ones that you can do in your house, in your backyard. You can take it outside. You can say, um, well, the, we had a clue for the pool. Where do you make a big splash? Uh, you can make a mystery game using trees and sticks and rocks and outdoor stuff. We're going to move on to the next slide here. All right. Step four, change the rules. Can everyone hear me? No. Can you guys hear me? If if you can't, um, I see some people say yes. If you can hear me, give me a big thumbs up right now. Or just type in the chat box. Good, we got a lot of thumbs up. Perfect, so if you cannot hear me, um, try and adjust either your volume or, um, like I said, I'm not very good at Zoom, so we will figure it, um, just comes at a delay, okay. Well, I'm just going to keep going. Um, to my understanding, this badge and everything I am telling you is all recorded. So you should be able to go back and watch it later today so we can complete this badge. So the next step that we're going to be doing is called change the rules. By raising your hand or typing in the, the chat box, who knows of a game that you really like, but you wish the rules were changed just a little bit. I see, a, I see some hands, good. All right, so that's what we're gonna be doing, awesome. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So this one is called Change the Rules. So you're going to take a game that you already know, and you're gonna add one or two new rules to it to make it your own, okay? These new rules should um, make it a little more fun and adventurous for you as well. So you guys look at the slideshow in front of you. Who has played um, hopscotch before? Hopscotch maybe at school, maybe at the basketball court, Oh, Abigail loves to play Monopoly, so you can change the rules to that. Yeti and My Spaghetti, I've never heard of that game, but that sounds fun. Mario Kart, I, I love a good Mario Kart challenge. Settlers of Catan, I think I've heard of that, but I've never played it. Soccer. Wow, you guys play a lot of games. That's awesome. Clue, Mario Brothers. We got that here, too. Fantastic Mario Kart. All right. So, you guys have a lot of games that you like and you know the rules to. So, think in your head how you would change that game and add one or two different rules to make it your own and maybe a little more adventurous. Okay, 
So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes here to think of a game and think about how you would change one or two rules. And I'm gonna have you type it in the chat box. But think of a game that you know. How would you change one or two rules and add it in the chat box? Sophia says she barely plays games. Well, that's okay. You can make up your whole entire new game. That is the beauty of this badge. Make a whole new game that you would play. So while you guys are thinking of that, I am going to take you on a little adventure here. Um, you guys, we're going to go on a little field trip. So I did, I made my own hopscotch yesterday and hard in the darkness, we're going to head downstairs. Hang with me right here, guys. It is sunny today, so I'm going to do my best to show you all this hopscotch that I made yesterday. And I put my own little spin on it, too. So, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because the sun is really, 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 really bright. But type in the chat box if you are able to see. Uh-oh, did we cut out? I don't know if you guys are still with me. Can you, can you guys see me? Okay. So here is a hopscotch that I made yesterday. And I'm gonna do my very best here to put the camera down so you guys can see it. Here's where you enter. And here's my original hopscotch. But the ending is where my new game will start. So we're gonna have to watch this line kind of a twirly little line. It can be a little difficult to stay on. Then I have a place where you're going to have to jump in the footsteps. So I'm not going to jump with you guys in my hand. I don't want to shake it too much. And then there's a place where you squat down, you give a high five, and you are done. So I had the original hopscotch at the beginning. And then I added my own little flare at the end. So I want to challenge you guys to think of a game. I'm going to sit outside to finish this badge here. Think of a game that you guys know quite well. Add your own rules to it and then let us know what you guys come up with. Um, unfortunately, I cannot see anyone anymore and I can't see the chat box, but my understanding is that you guys can still see me. So I'm just gonna keep going. So today, oh, the last step that you guys will create at home is to create a party game. I'm sorry, there are a couple steps that you guys have to create at home to, in order to get the badge. So one of them is to create a party game. Um, you can do pin the tail on Hello Kitty. A lot of people like Hello Kitty. You can do a family, um, instead of doing musical chairs, you can do musical hula hoops. Just make it a little different. You can even build your own relay race for your family. Do like a little family Olympics with summer coming up. 
I know I want to spend as much time outside as I can. So that will be a great opportunity for you to spend some time outside with your family. Um, the next step that you will have to complete at home in order to get this badge is to invent a whole new sport. We kind of talked about that a little bit when I was talking about the hopscotch, but invent a whole new sport. Um, what kind of sports balls are you gonna use? What kind of sports field are you gonna use? Make sure you come up with a name of it, write down all your rules and then invite your family and invite your friends when we're able to hang out with our friends again to play this new sport. What kind of prize are you gonna have for the winners? So that is gonna be one of the um, steps that you're gonna to need to complete in order to get the badge. Um, I was gonna ask for questions, but unfortunately I've lost all your beautiful faces. And like I said, my understanding is that you guys can still see and hear me, but I've lost all of your faces and all of the comments and I, I'm not very good at Zoom, so unfortunately, if you guys have questions, just email them to um, the people who are hosting this video to Daniel Sykes, or um, and they will get your questions answered for you for sure. Okay, so I want to thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we hope that you had fun learning about games and making your own games. Don't forget to tune in next week on Tuesday, April 28th at 10 a.m. for work on the Brownie Inventors Badge Work. That sounds fun. So make sure you guys join in next Tuesday at 10 a.m. We will have a Facebook Live today at 3 p.m. So stay tuned for Marble Nail Art. I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for joining us. Bye.